Yo, yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Strength Flow class. My name is Coach Ari, and we are about to have a lot of fun. All right, so today's class is going to be all about flowing and getting strong and fit. It's not necessarily going to be about feeling super winded. Um, we are going to have a nice Tabata session. Where we're going to spend our time in the red zone. But meanwhile, we're just going to go ahead and warm up. How about that? So just to start up, we're just going to start moving around a little bit. Okay, the, or, the idea of moving around a little bit, shake your arms a little bit, shake your legs, and the whole idea is just to get around the blue zone, maybe a little bit to the uh, green zone, all right? Probably spend our time around the green zone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, get to the green zone by moving around from side to side. And just before we're about to start, um, we're just gonna go ahead and start doing our movement. If at any point you watch your my zone and see that you are actually not in the zone that you wanna be, so for example, if you're in the gray zone, which is too little, or if you're at the yellow zone or the red zone, which is too much, make the adjustment. So for example, if I'm doing this and I'm hitting the red zone, maybe I should probably slow down, right? And if I'm, um, I'm doing whatever I'm gonna tell you and you're gonna hit the uh, orange, the, sorry, the uh, gray zone, so this is a good time to start maybe moving around more and get that pace up, okay? But the idea is to really watch the, um, the, 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 the my zone to stay in the green zone, okay? So, very good. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and start with some windmills, okay? Because we're gonna work today on rotating strength flow. This is gonna be a super fun class, and you're gonna love it a lot, all right? So, check this out. I'm keeping my knees pretty much nice and straight, and I'm really stretching the side of my hip here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the spread, and I'm gonna start moving to my knees, all right? Keeping my, nice, my chest nice and out, kind of like a forward fold. Right? Keeping my torso nice and straight like I'm doing a deadlift. Okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move, go ahead and move to my, <clears throat> very good, to my toes. <sighs> Breathing out every time I rotate, make sure the rotation comes from the pelvis. <sighs> going back up. <sighs> and going back to normal. <sighs> okay, very, very good. Now check this out. You're gonna imagine you have two balls in your hands and you want to show off all those balls all right so we're going to show them off bend the knees slightly <sighs> inhale exhale inhale exhale <sighs> inhale exhale <sighs> now check it out i'm going to flip my hands as i close them up 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 notice that i'm keeping my back nice and firm i'm not doing this or something like this Very good, now check this out. I stand up straight, keeping my arm, my leg up. All right, I'm keeping my foot, sorry, keeping my foot flexed. I inhale, exhale, go to a wide, wide, wide lunge. Both hands on this, the other side of the leg. I'm going to exhale, stretch up. World's best stretch, going back down, stretching back here, moving back, same other leg. So inhale. down, stretching, and back we go. We're gonna do the same thing again, inhale. We always breathe. Very important thing is to breathe. Back we go. One more time here. And down we go. Very, very good. Check this out. I'm gonna go ahead on all fours, all right? Lifting our Knees up, moving to the side. Okay, now notice what happens when I move to the side. I anchor my weight here on this leg, pushing the knee here through, making my shoulder far away from the ground. I'm not doing this. Making my shoulder far away. Going back, going here. Going back, going here, going back, going here, going back, going here. Let's go ahead and do 10 more of those. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. We're gonna go ahead, go all the way on our back, and we're gonna try and do a bridge. So if you cannot do a whole bridge, I'm not very good at bridge. But if you cannot do a bridge, that's okay. Just go for a glute bridge, just like this, and hold it for as much as you can. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do it for three minutes, for three times. We're gonna go ahead and go for a bridge. Five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Shake your legs, shake your arms two more times, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, push up. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Down you go, very good. Shake your arms, shake your legs, move a little bit from side to side. Last glute bridge, one, two, three, and up we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Down we go, brace our legs. Very good. All right, warm up is done. Let's kick ass. All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the workout. We are here live about to start kicking ass. All right, so today's workout is going to be all about two things. First of all, heart rate. We're going to try to go as hard as we can for as much as we can. So we're going to spend most of it in the red zone or at the top of the yellow zone. All right. The second thing that we're going to focus today is rotating movements. Okay. Very, very cool. So if you know, if you remember some of the movements from the warm up, this is great. If not, I'm just going to remind you. Okay. Um, but before that, we're going to work a little bit on isometrics. So check this out. Two minute work. I'm going to go ahead and go into all four position. Okay. Lifting up the knees and staying straight. Three, two, one. This is what we're going to do. Okay. Good. So we're going to stay straight here, pushing our scapulas up. Okay. We're going to hold this for about 10 more seconds just to understand the base of our movement. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Lowering it down, shaking a little bit here. And now check it out. We're going to go back to this position. We're going to go ahead and perform some bear walks. All right. So a bear walk is basically when I'm going back here, I'm going to control both of my limbs and lift them forward. So the right and the left, it's called contralateral in our coach's language. I'm just going to move a little bit here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up and go ahead and do five bear walks. All right, six bear walks for that matter. So we're going to go ahead, go up, slow and controlled movements. Three, four, five, and six. This is good. Now, the next thing we're going to do is a reptile crawl, which is basically just a bear walk, only to the other side. So go back up. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to go forward. Two, three, four, five, and six, and backwards. Now take care that you're not, it's really easy to do it fast. You wanna go slow and control. Six forward and six back. Very good guys, keep it up. Six forward, six back. We only have 40 more seconds on this one. So I'm gonna go with you. Nice. Remember to keep your air nice and clear. We have 20 more seconds. Come on guys, push it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, 20 more seconds. That's not a lot. Here we go. Remember to keep your back nice and straight. Good job. We're here for seven more seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Very good. Move around, shake it up. You're already probably in the yellow zone. That's very good. Our isometrics are not easy, okay? But this, remember this kind of movement, this is gonna be our base, okay? So, meanwhile, we'll rest a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and start our next movement. So, in the next movement, we're just gonna go ahead and work a little bit on rotation. So, what's gonna happen is we're gonna go ahead and go into a big, big, big lunge. Okay, we're gonna try and hold this lunge try to bring the, the back knee forward and the right knee backwards. So I'm engaging my hamstring here and my quadriceps here. And I'm going to stay here on this lunge. I'm going to inhale, exhale, twist to the side. If you can, go ahead and touch the floor. Yeah. And try not to lean on the leg, but try to really hold yourself up here on the leg. Okay. Go ahead and inhale. Stay here on this one. Inhale again, be long. Exhale, try to touch the floor. Good job, stay firm on this lunge. Use both your legs, inhale again. And exhale back, shake your legs. We're gonna do the other leg now, inhale. Exhale down, hold that nice wide lunge. Close with both legs, make yourself nice and steady. Inhale, exhale down. Really try to spin your torso, yeah? Try not to lean on the leg. Inhale again. Stay here again. Try to get that lunge a little bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale down. 
Very, very good. Staying here, deep, 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 deep lunge. Inhale once more. Right, exhale, twist and Very good. Inhale, walk back. Very, very good. Shake those legs. Okay. We're already elevated, already hip up. Now is the time to go to our word Tabata word. Okay? So, for those of you who don't know what Tabata is, Tabata is a form of training where we are training 20 seconds as hard as we possibly can, and then 10 seconds we are resting, not doing anything except for breathing. The reason for this is because when you rest, you actually increase your capacity to work, okay? And then in those 20 seconds, you can actually perform much better than you would if you would do 30 seconds of normal um, activity. Moreover, we can do that more for long, okay? So if you have 10 second rest in between, for six minutes, for example, we have 12 sets of work where if you do six minutes in a row, it'll probably be much harder, okay? So check this out. Um, what we're gonna have are two basic movements. I'm gonna show them to you right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and start our Tabata session. Okay, so our first movement is called the sit-through reach. If you've done my classes, you've done it before. Um, we start from here, this is our basic, right? Lift our knees up. Go ahead and go here, and instead of keeping the knee here, I'm just reaching my foot. Going back, reaching my foot. Going back, reaching my foot. Okay? These are going to be our first three rounds. What you want to pay attention to is that you really push out from the floor, that you don't bring your uh, uh, shoulder forward, and that you're really nice and firm with your position without holding your breath. Be careful. Don't hold it. All right? Second movement we have is a sit back reach. Sit back reach is basically I'm right here, then I'm going to bridge with my legs and reach to the other side. Okay, just like this, and just like this. Now notice, this is a very crucial one. I'm turning here, so I don't want you to bridge, because a lot of people, they do this. See how my knee is bent here? I don't want that. I want my knee to be out, and I want my uh, hand to be on the other side, okay? So the emphasis here is on the button, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do three rounds of that as well. After we've done three and three, we're gonna go to our finisher. Gonna be six whole rounds. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard me. Six rounds of sit through reach, sit through knee. Sorry, sit through reach to sit back reach. How do I do that? Basically, like this. Here, and I go one, two, three. Up, 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 up. Okay, just playing around with that. All right. Now notice that I was segmented, but what you want to do is be up, up. Oh, because we are here flowing, right? So we're always moving, always flowing, okay? Don't worry about counting the rounds. Don't worry about who tells you go and all that. Just listen to my voice. Listen to the instructions. Stay, um, um, stay focused and it's gonna be totally fine, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start in about 20 seconds. This is a good time to drink a small sip of water if you need it. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and set myself up right here, okay? So it's gonna be 12 rounds, six minutes, all right? 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. When you rest, rest. I warn you. Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Very good. Three, two, one, rest. Deep breath. Five seconds, we go again. Three, two, one, let's go. Always control, always control. Ten, in. Three, Two, one, rest. Good job, 10 seconds in. We're gonna go ahead and go for the third sit through reach. Okay, five seconds. Last one is the best one. Three, two, one, let's do it. Really push in. 
Good job. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Our next one's gonna be a sit back reach. Remember, like the bridge thing, okay? Keep in mind that you wanna be on the red zone, so go as fast as you possibly can. Here we go, three, two, one, let go, 20 seconds. Try to elevate yourself up as much as you can. 10 seconds. Good job, come on, push it. Three, two, one, and rest. As you rest, breathe, 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 breathe. Even lay down if you need it for a second. Okay, two seconds, two, one. Here we go, 20 seconds, let's go. It's all about that control, all about that body control. Keep your fingers nice and wide so you have a nice base. Good job, five more seconds for you. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job, two out of three done. Breathe in, try to go back to the yellow zone. Three, two, one, red zone, let's go. Good job. Come on, 10 seconds. Not much. And three, two, one, rest. Good job. You have six rounds now, all right? Sit through, reach to sit back, reach. Okay, start the first one, spinning back to the yellow one, to the second one. Here we go, three, two, one, 20 seconds. All right, all about the flow. All about the flow. I know it might be confusing, but two, one, rest. Good job. Keep it up, breathe, 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 breathe. Five more seconds, we're gonna hit it up for round two. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Back. Always keep the breath in. Breath is always a factor. And three, two, one, rest. Good job. Good work, round three coming up. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's do it. Good work, we're here for 10 seconds already in. Only control, three, two, one. Round three in the books, come on, good job. We have two more rounds here. All right, the last one is the best one, yeah? So the one before the last is the one before the best. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. All about the flow, all about non-stopping of the movement, flowing from one place to the other. Dallas, loose leaf set, new water, my friends. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Last one is the best one, my friends. Hold the tights, here we go. Last one, three, two, one, let's go. Good job, come on guys. Three, two, one, time. Good work, guys. Rest a little bit. You can lean back a little bit and move your legs. Go into this yoga, happy baby pose if you want. Whatever it is that you need to relax. All right, guys, good job. Start slowing down your breath. I will see you in the cool down, yeah? All right, guys, congratulations on making it through our Tabata class. Yes, I know it was hard, but we're not done yet, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna work a little bit on our core in a bit of a different way than you know. So let's go ahead, before we wrap this up, 
sit right here in this dead bug position. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and straighten our legs, have our toes pointed towards us. Okay, we don't want our legs like this or like this. We want our toes really pointed. Why? Because we wanna keep tension throughout our legs. Okay, you can have your heads down on the floor or up in the air, however you want. Keep your arms nice and forward, like, like this. And now what we're gonna do, we're going to inhale. As we inhale, we straighten one arm on one leg, we exhale, we bring it back. Okay, this is what we're gonna do, basically. Okay, now try not to do this. Some people do this, or I don't know why, okay? You want one hand stays in the air, one hand goes back, okay? So this is our dead bug, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do three sets of five reps each side. Now, I know it sounds easy, but we're gonna go and do them super, super, super slow. Okay, so it's gonna be very, very intense for us, especially on the hip flexor. Okay, so get ready. You're here with me. <clears throat> First set, five reps each side. Here we go. Inhale. And exhale. I'll do three. This is four. This is five. Good work. Lowering down, moving my leg, my uh, my feet, my knees, sorry, from side to side. Okay, we're gonna go and rest for ten more seconds, and we're gonna go ahead and go for five more. Okay, so three, two, one. Here we go up and inhale. This exercise is actually very very good. Exhale because it teaches you how to move your limbs independently of your torso, which is super super crucial. Okay. Try to keep your lower back close to the floor as you possibly can. So if when you go here, for example, yeah, your lower back goes up from the floor, this is a good time to actually understand that we need to go a bit lower so we can go up to here and that's totally fine. Okay? So we're supposed to be right now at three, if I recall correctly. Very good. Five here, lowering it down. Move your legs from side to side. All right, good job. Moving the legs. And we're gonna go ahead and start with our third one in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Putting our arms up, inhale. Exhale. Now this exercise is notorious because it seems easy at the beginning, but in the end, the slower you do it, the harder it is. And I really want to put emphasis on not holding your breath. Keep your breath nice and clear. Okay, I don't want to hear. Okay, this is not going to serve you one bit. It's not going to make the exercise easier and it's not going to make your abs stronger your core strong. Very good. We have two more here each side because we have one bonus. Good job. And last one. Up we go. All right. And we stand up. Yes, I know it was harder than it seemed. Okay, but you guys nailed it just like you did the workout. All right, I'm going to see you guys in the cool down. Good job. All right, guys. Good job. Good job. Looks good. Kick major ass. Let's unwind a little bit. All right. So let's start with just some breathing. So I would like you to place one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. Now I want you to try and inhale from your nose. Imagine that you're bypassing the lungs, going straight into the belly, trying to push the hand that is on the belly out while keeping the hand that is on the chest in. So we inhale from the nose. Exhale, first pushing the belly in. 
inspiration only than the chest. Now as you do that, I want you to keep your breath slower and slower and slower and slower and slower and watch your my zone rate. Make sure that you're going down all the way to either the beginning of the blue zone or to the gray zone. If you notice that you're still in the uh, green zone, even when we are about to stretch, please make sure that you breathe slow, okay? So we inhale and we exhale down. We inhale and we exhale down. We're gonna keep doing that until we hit the gray zone. Brilliant. All right, and we're just gonna go ahead and do a few stretches just to relieve ourselves. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the side, sit up straight, sit on both sitting bones, have your toes pointing out forward, like toes pointing out back, but this bone kind of pointing out forward, so it's kind of like you're pushing something. Have your um, knees slightly bent. You're gonna inhale, be long. Exhale. Just bend over forward as much as you can. You can grab onto your ankles or your toes. It doesn't really matter as long as you're keeping that position in the um, feet. Spend a few breaths here. All right, good work. From here, slowly slide back. I'm gonna go ahead on one leg and go into a nice big lunge. Okay, we're going to inhale, be long. Exhale, try to really go forward here. All right, you can also put your toes back like this. If you can't go on both, um, both forearms, that's okay. You can be like with one arm. You wanna feel the stretch here and here. Okay, very good. So, I'm gonna inhale, go back up, switch legs. Inhale, and exhale down. Very good. If you want to play around a little bit, you can always push that knee a little bit out, just like we did in the beginning. Yeah, feels super nice. I really love this stretch. And the next thing we're going to do is simply going to go back here and go into this position, right? One arm to the side here, one arm stays put. We're going to inhale, exhale. Stretch the back body, super nice. And go back with an inhale, of course. Switching arms, inhale, exhale back. Yes, feeling that back nice and stretchy. Brilliant. And release. Go ahead and sit back down. Beautiful job. Sit back in a warrior position, kind of like, I call it a warrior position because you're like sitting very, very content and attentive. Yeah, straight back, arms to the side of the body, relaxed, ready for action. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Coach Ari. Thank you so much for joining me here for Strength Flow class. On behalf of myself and Evope, Evolution of Human Performance, thank you so much for joining. I wish you health, I wish you strength, and... Nothing but the best. Thank you.